My own personal experiences with mental health probably started in my early 20s. There were some, some things going on in my personal life at the time which were, which were pretty tough to deal with um, and obviously the pressures of the footy landscape as well. I was getting an overawe of, of some anxiety and, and some other things that I was feeling at the time that I hadn't really experienced um, at that magnitude. Being a young adolescent man, especially in the footy world, I was pretty keen to keep it under wraps and try and deal with it um, as best I could by myself, but it kind of pushed beyond that. It wasn't until sort of roughly around 2018 that I sort of knew that I needed to do something about it. My initial sort of movements were talking with some family and friends and um, off the back of that I began to sort of seek some external support and have some really, in the end, good quality conversations. It takes a level of vulnerability to be able to do that, even if it is close to family and friends, but uh, when it's done it can be, can be seriously powerful. So Mendel is a social enterprise um, apparel label. It came about about two years ago um, after some good quality conversations that I had with a friend of mine, Mark, who we're now doing this as a joint venture together. We wanted to sort of create something which was quite clean, quite minimal, and also quite subtle in its, in its branding and its messaging, just to sort of have people sort of look good, feel good wearing the brand, something they'd be comfortable wearing at their local cafe down the street, but also with this sort of hidden message behind it for those who recognise the brand or know the brand, could sort of give a subtle nod of support and or for someone who may not be sort of sure what the brand is about, um, it might be that sort of starting point in regards to um, starting a starting conversation. So on top of starting the uh, Mendel Apparel, we've, we've started the Mendel Movement um, Journal Blog, which is a series of video content and some written small pieces just to sort of help people out there with some ideas around how they can keep their mental health in check and also just to sort of help sort of reiterate and, and create some of these conversations um, and how important they are in having um, and sort of lead by example. So the proceeds of our sales at Mendel get on donated to a different charity of each month. Uh, we sort of recognise that there's some really good charities already doing some good work in this space and in doing so the proceeds will be donated this month to Lifeline. For a lot of people out there, they might not have the comforts of some close family and friends uh, at the ready to sort of hear them out. So it's definitely comforting to know that there's organisations willing and able to help and Lifeline's one of those. It's awesome to have Lifeline attached to our Round 23 game this coming week. It means a lot to the football club to be sort of giving, be giving back to the mental health space and, and sort of shedding light on um, a seriously important topic in today's society.